So I was scrolling Pinterest and I just kept coming across light sculptures. And when I see something cool, I wanna make it. So I went on probably a week long journey of just recreating light sculptures and coming up with really cool stuff. And I came up with three designs that I was really happy with and I wanna show you how I made those. So as I was designing the first sculpture, I realized I needed to take a second and just focus on designing a good light bulb to implement in these sculptures. So I ended up looking at a lot of references and designing my own fluorescent light bulb and it needed to be two things. You know, look like glass, be shiny and glow. So that presented a couple material problems that the principal BSDF very much solved for me. Once the bulb was done, I picked maybe my favorite sculpture I saw, which was this design by Thomas Glassford, and then I went into recreating it. The base shape was super simple. It's just an icosphere. So I hopped into geometry nodes and was able to instance my new bulb around it. And geometry nodes just makes my life super easy with these types of things. Then it came to figure out what movement, what animation do I wanna to add to this light bulb that I think makes this look really special. And as I was designing the gradient, I just kind of accidentally came across a really, really cool animation. So the way it started was just a gradient texture on a color ramp and I wanted to animate it so the easiest thing was getting a hue saturation value and then you can just kind of cycle through that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that animation. So that's cycling through and it's a seamless loop because it's going from zero to one with the hue saturation. So it makes that. And then I had the fun idea of taking just the saturation slider and crunching it up. And then I watched it and it, it did this, which to me was just so cool. And if I zoom in, you can kind of see how you have these little, these little gradient things going on. I thought, okay, well, can I kind of distort this farther? So got another color ramp and I first I flipped it, brought one in. So now we already have something interesting happening and then we'll go ahead and let's add in another node, bring that down and then we'll get one more white node to just kind of goof around with it like, like this. So now we have something pretty weird. And then we just move, we just move everything around till we have this really weird motion. You're seeing these little, these little moments right here to me is like, okay, there's something, there's definitely something here that we can distort and manipulate. Then let's put the color right back in. So just plop in that color. And then it really just kind of accentuates all the little gradient moments that are moving around in this animation. And it's really just comes from, you know, taking a gradient, ruining it with saturation, like just saturating the crap out of it, and then playing with it even further to get something weird like this. And I just think it looks so cool. It's so unique. And it's something that's kind of special because it takes a little bit of work to get. So once I had the animation down, it was really just, it was pretty much finished. So I created this kind of museum-like environment around it, kind of had a string connected to it, had this electrical cord coming out of it to add some context. And I really wanted this one to look believable and real. Um, and when I was done, I rendered it. And this one's my favorite. It's really why I picked it to show first because it's just so cool and satisfying to look at. And the emotion is so weird and odd and I'm immensely proud of this one. Now, before I get into the second sculpture, I wanna say if you are a Blender user and you want to learn exactly the step-by-step -step of how I made all three of these sculptures, that is on Patreon. I have three separate tutorials. The first sculpture is a 30-minute tutorial. It's a really cool in-depth look at how I created all three of these. Uh, if you wanna check that out, my Patreon is linked in the description along with tons of other projects that I've shown here on the YouTube channel. So again, if you wanna check that out, Link in the description really helps support the channel. As I was scrolling Pinterest, looking at these sculptures, I came across this design here. Again, all the credits are linked in the description and I just loved the scale of it. So I first had to design the bulb for this thing, which was this hula hoop circular light bulb, had kind of a, an outer layer and then an inner kind of LED um, light bulb layer that was gonna allow me to add some motion to this. 
and then I threw it into geometry nodes and just having randomized scale was super easy. Just add a noise texture to the scale on the instance node and you can just really kind of have infinite possibilities. That was super simple. Just create the bulb and then randomize the scale. So the more tedious part was once I had the scales figured out, I had to go ahead and rig this thing to the environment around it. Again, I want these to be kind of believable. And in the original design, I saw they had these wires connected to each of the hula hoop things. So I rigged it up just like that. So then it came to animating it. I tried all these different uh, uh, textures and movements. I ended up on a just a circular gradient that goes around and around. And then I used the wave texture just to kind of kind of randomly phase in and phase out. Made it look really cool. And again, love this one. I would love to see something like this in person. And the last one is very much an alternative to the first one I showed, but kind of flat. But I wanted the sculpture to be flat because I knew this was going to offer me some really cool animation possibilities from like a technical level. So in geometry nodes, I was able to instance in a circle all of the bulbs that I designed in the, uh, the first sculpture. And then because it's flat, I was able to project the texture onto the bulb. And the reason why I say that is using instances like this provides a problem, which is, the animation that is on one light bulb is gonna be on all of them. It's gonna look the same, which isn't entirely uncommon when looking at light sculptures like this in the real world. Um, but I wanted something where the animation was spread across all the instances rather than being duplicated on each instance. And so making it flat allowed me in the node system to project it onto it. So very much like its own screen and that looked super cool so i was able to attach a noise texture and a wave texture to get this very beautiful flowing phase effect with some beautiful color some beautiful glow and um it was very simple but it just looks awesome and sometimes things like this you don't need to overcomplicate it to make it look beautiful and make it look nice and this one was a very simple execution again if you want to check out how i made these that is going to be in my patreon right now um but that's the whole project. I had a blast. I spent a lot of time on this. There were a ton of sculptures that I just was never able to get around to making because there's more videos I want to make for you guys here on the channel. But that's it. I hope you learned some stuff. I hope this inspires you to try and make some of your own light sculptures and have some fun with that because this is really what 3D art is all about to me is having fun and making some cool stuff that other people want to see. Uh, so with that being said, Thank you guys for watching again. Check out the Patreon, help support the channel. I've been putting a lot of work into that lately. Uh, but yeah, hope you learned some stuff and I'll see you in the next one.